Personally, I'm not, not a big long-term goal setter, sort of, you know, try to take day by day sort of thing. But obviously, um, probably all of us want to play senior footy throughout our first year. If that's going to happen, it's up to, you know, Alistair and the coaching staff. But probably just for me, you know, playing some good footy in the VFL and seeing where things take me through training and stuff like that. And, you know, all the hard work pays off, I guess. So. Yeah, it was really exciting, you know, first time you put on jumpers is always exciting. Uh, I was really nervous all day and whatnot trying to fill in the day because obviously we played at 9 o'clock so it was pretty late. I think it's a really nice thing they get to pull on the, the Hawthorne jersey for the first time. Previously we've had guys who wouldn't have got the chance probably for three or four years. Now these kids get to feel what it's like, they get to feel what it's like in the rooms before the game with a little bit of a crowd, a good atmosphere, so I think it's good for their preparing them to play where they're hopefully going to end up playing and then give them something to really look forward to. Yeah, I was nervous, that's for sure. Hands were sweating up a bit, but um, no, nah, it was really good. Um, boys were just like, just take it on, have some fun. We're all here to enjoy it, so no, they were good. Let's start out just off the blue to the blue. Turn left and then do one on the right. Okay, so, and then we'll go to the shorter one. All right, first group. Did it feel any different when you stepped over the white line for the first time? No, uh, well, so it didn't, didn't. Um, it, it did because it probably didn't have the little um, white Mustang there that I'm so accustomed to. Um, but it did at the same time because I played with, you know, some guys that I've played with at Box Hill and along the journey as well. So, um, but at the same time, yeah, another, another step up. Um, different game, so different tactics, um, fast tempo. So it was something that I had to get used to for sure. The loud noise. Are you hearing the loud noise out on the ground? Not really. You just got to play on, pretty much, because as soon as the obviously goal ball goes straight back in, and um, you just game on. So you don't really hear anything. No celebrations. We were learning what it was going to be like for the first time too. So I think they can go through it naturally uh, themselves and then in retrospect look back and think oh, okay did I prepare myself the best way should I have done something a bit different I know my own experience was like that playing a, a practice game and being absolutely scared out of my wits my, my first real game I, I felt fine so maybe, hopefully that that transition for them help, happens as well where they can learn from that experience I did lose that it always comes back I don't lose it again it comes back does it Cool about the boys sort of put out practice that we've done in preseason. It's an actual sort of sophisticated match, I guess. Little sneaky goal there uh, to get things going for you at the side. Uh, how'd you go kicking that one? Yeah, I think a few of the boys were a bit scared. I thought it went the misstep, but yeah, lucky it went through. I sort of rolling on the line. I thought oh, I've cooked this, but yeah, no, I had to go through. It was pretty exciting, I was pretty excited to you know, just play two games instead of one 20 minute game so I got double but a bit different for me, you know, I haven't played in front of too many big crowds obviously but once you're out there after your warm up you probably you know, absorb most of the atmosphere and stuff and you don't really hear it much when you're out there so it's pretty good. I've got high expectations on myself, so I'd love to get a senior game. I guess we all would, that's our dream come true. Um, so yeah, I'd love to get at least one senior game, but it's more about development in these early stages. Um, yeah, build a bit more muscle, um, learn the terminology in the group, and just develop that way, and then hopefully play some good footy in VFL. I don't know, just try to have a really good season in the VFL, and um, hopefully, I don't know, get my first game. Um, and stuff like that, but um, yeah, just learn, just learn as much as I can really from the coaches and players. First goal was to sort of get into the group, meet the boys and that sort of thing. I think I've ticked that off now. So yeah, just coming into the season, just playing good footy at VFL level, and then 
hopefully stuff can stuff can happen. But yeah, just getting that consistency. First and foremost is just to get the back right, um, which isn't looking like it's too far off. And then, yeah, play some good VFL footy and, and earn the respect of the boys. Um, really train hard and, and put on a bit of weight and size. The thing that strikes me is they're really good. They're really good people, and I don't know. If, I assume we've drafted them because of that, as well as their football. But they, they are genuinely good people, they care. They've got some really good habits in terms of their preparation for the game. So I know when I entered the system, I, my head was everywhere. I didn't know what I was taking in. These guys, they're writing notes, they're, they're taking things in and, and really learning quickly. So good people and, and good learners, I think. Some homeless people, and you know, it makes you really put your life into perspective. I guess you know we're pretty, pretty fortunate to be in the position we are. So, and that's not a reflection of these guys. This is reality, unfortunately. This is what happens on the streets of Melbourne. As sad as that is.